Guess what, everybody? It's that time of year again. And today is Thursday. So, for those of you who don't know or not are new, this is Box Day. From now until the end of the year, every Thursday, there will be a box coming. It's part of the Community Cooks Meal Program, you know, which is part of Appetites for Change, Santa, East Side Table, the Good Acre, the Food Group, Transforming the Table, and in Health Fairview. What it is is a way to decrease the amount of uh, the food desert that there is out there, to give more people opportunity to have fresh, local, affordable food that's healthy, good stuff that they can eat. I'm going to open it real quick for you because I know this video can't be too long for some media profiles and, and it's okay for it to be longer for others. But I'm excited because I really wasn't sure if they were going to have me in the program this year or not. But I'm in it again. And sorry about my hair. It is what it is to do. Okay. First thing out of the box, rhubarb. So this means we'll be doing some cooking and recipes with using the rhubarb. Yay! Lettuce, which is in my area, gone up to like a gazillion dollars. Uh, it's nice to be able to have some lettuce, make some salads. Bean sprouts. Quick cooking oats. Mint, yay. I really like mint and I'll show you what I do with mint and fresh mint and, and what I do for beverages and for food and how I dehydrate it and all of that. Because it's always good to prep and put some stuff aside. Butter. Rice vinegar. Always happy to get any kind of vinegar. Soy sauce. Granulated sugar. Peanut butter all-purpose flour and the silver package is usually the protein for the week well peanut butter is protein too but there's a couple of packages of boneless skinless chicken thighs in there in the freezer pack I mean, and there are other programs out there where you can get food like this and you can pay for it, but you're usually paying probably $50 or more for this. And, and for the amount of things that I have right here today, it's somewhere between $40, $40, $45 worth of food. They also, they give a welcome note. This is my second year with this program, with the Community Cooks program. And they talk about cooking together. They do online videos through different social media platforms so people can use the ingredients and we're all using them cooking at the same time and creating our different recipes and displaying that, showing other people how we can eat healthier foods because there's so much out there that's not really healthy. So it's nice to have something that is healthy. And they talk about vinegars and rhubarb and all of that. And they tell you how to make a rhubarb crumble. That's one of the recipes this week. And spring chicken salad with Thai-style peanut dressing. So those are the two recipes this week. They always give two recipes. They always give some other information about the local farmers or groups that have helped to put this food together. And it's an awesome program. And I don't know if you have it in your area or not, but if you don't, I'd say look for something that's similar to that. If you do have an opportunity to do something like this next year, um, when they're taking names again, I'd say go for it. This one is local to the Twin Cities area. All those programs that I mentioned through the Community Cooks program is through the Twin Cities area. And they have Facebook groups and other social media platforms like that. Um, but in your area, if you're not from where I am, you might find other things out there that do the same thing. Otherwise, you would have to pay... Um, to get food boxes, meal meal boxes and all that, and be able to put your recipes and meals together, and that might cost you 50 to 100 bucks. 
So it's a saving. It's a treat. It's always a surprise because I don't know what I'm getting, but it gives me an opportunity to learn how to make some different stuff and to do something um, good for my body. Talk to you again soon.